Hi there everybody, it's it's really good to see you on here this evening. I'm just going to wait to see a few people coming along, see what's happening. We are live, it's seven o'clock and it's time to talk about choosing jewellery for you. So I'm really excited to be talking to you about that. And um, just a big hello to you all and a big welcome. And I hope you're enjoying the whole mega party deal with the new launch um, of the new collection for Park Lane Jewellery. I certainly am. I get excited every time and every time I say it can't get better and it just got even betterer. There is no such word as betterer. You will get used to my loopy ways as we go through this um, video this evening. I'll try not to keep you too long but there's so much I want to talk to you about I might just have to shut up and stop when my time is up. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Wendy for asking me to come on here this evening to share some tips with you about choosing um, jewellery to suit you. Um, I better tell you a bit about myself. My name is Mel. I'm Mel Anderson. There's a lot of you out there don't know me. Um, I've been a stylist with Park Lane Jewellery for two and a half years now. I joined in January 2019 and it was one of the best things I ever did. Um, I love the jewellery. I love the different styles. I love what it offers. Not, not only what it offers the stylist, but what it also offers my clients, which is wonderful. Um, just to tell you a bit about what I do before I go any further, as you can see I am in a sort of shop environment here. I have a pre-love ladies clothing shop um, here in central Scotland. I live in Dollar and I'm able to run the shop from my home and uh, I have been doing this for 11 years now and Along with the pre-love ladies clothing, which is mainly high-end, high street and designer, I sell handbags and hats and, of course, jewellery. So it's a one-stop shop, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've been doing this for 11 years, as I say, and before that, in a past life, I was a colour analyst. Uh, so sort of colour me beautiful. It wasn't colour me beautiful, but for those of you that are familiar with that. And then... Um, also, I was an image consultant, so I now run a sort of one-stop shop for my clients, which is why I'm here this evening. Um, I've always loved clothes. We're not talking about clothes tonight, we're talking about jewellery. Um, but for those of you that are one of many daughters or one of many siblings that are girls, I was one of three and I was the hand-me-down, you know, so I seem to wear the same dress for years because my mother insisted on buying everyone the same dress. So that's why I have such a big love of clothes now. But from childhood, I loved bling. And I do apologise for referring to um, the jewellery as bling, um, only in as much that uh, my aunt, she had this wonderful box of jewellery when I was little and I used to love going and playing with it and pulling everything out and you know that has stuck with me much to my husband's uh, worrying <laughs> but I absolutely love it and I love love jewellery and I love dressing people up in jewellery as well. As you know jewellery has been around for literally thousands of years. Um, when you think about the Egyptians um, you know AD not BC no BC not AD sorry this is when I'm a little <laughs> A little confused. Uh, the Egyptians, when they buried their uh, pharaohs, they put them into these catacombs with all these wonderful things, including amazing jewellery. So as far back as then, people were very aware of adorning the items they were wearing, whether it was a sarong or a wrap or whatever, with something like a, a neck chain or an amulet around their arm, um, rings and these headpieces. So far back as Egyptian times, that, that's, that's where it's going. And when you think about the UK here, where people go around with their metal detectors and they're always finding caches of um, jewellery, uh, Roman jewellery, and you get things like rings and necklaces and all sorts of things. So jewellery's been around, as I say, for a long, long time and people have obviously enjoyed wearing it. Um, Park Lane offers something for everybody in the jewellery range. We're very lucky there's some classic timeless pieces which um, we'll go upon, I uh, will go through those shortly. Uh, and at the same time they managed to be incredibly on trend and <coughs> up to date. 
you know, fashion copies, etc. It's just amazing. Um, I shouldn't really say fashion copies, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but I just wanted to touch upon the very famous jewel bracelet, which we all love, which I know Anne was talking about last night. Beautiful jewel bracelet, which comes in the hematite now, as well as the rose gold, the silver and the gold. And that is a very similar bracelet to the one that um, Chanel offer. Chanel's is a slightly different shape, but this one is £66. And if you stick two zeros after that, £6,600 is what Chanel wants. So I know which one I would rather buy. This one, because it looks just the same and it's lovely. And you wouldn't worry wearing it either. That's the most important thing. So choosing jewellery. Um, you really dictate how you're going to wear your jewellery and what style you want. Your lifestyle, your family, your job, all these things will dictate what you wear. You know, if you're in a job where you can't wear much jewellery, you're going to need something that's very simple, like a small stud or a very fine chain, uh, no rings obviously and no bracelets. Whereas if you're in a, a um, job where you've got a lot of public um, exposure and you might want to wear a little bit more, yeah, it's great, Vicky. The jewel bracelet is fabulous. Um, you might want to wear a little bit more and uh, have more statement pieces, statement earrings, um, and be a little less subtle with what you're wearing. And also if you're family, I mean, I know from when I had my kids and now my grandchildren, goodness me, is she that old, you're saying? Yes, she is. <laughs> um, I know that, you know, babies on your shoulder, pulling at your ears, if you've got hoops on, that is a disaster. So you don't want things like hoops or anything that will pull or fine chains. You need to have something a bit more substantial um, to, to wear. Before we go any further, I just want to say now I can see there's a whole heap of you on here. If you're watching this live, say hi Mel, just so that I know I'm not alone. And uh, if you're watching this on replay, put hashtag jewellery okay so um i you know look forward to seeing that and it just gives us an idea of who's watching and um we can take it from there so what i'm going to do i'm only going to be suggesting to you i'm not saying this is what you must wear because jewellery is very much a personal thing but i'm just going to give you a few little tips in a minute honestly i will get there hi oh this is lovely lovely to see you girls it's fantastic um so as I said, and you know, you might want to add to your go-to pieces. And if you're still building your basket to get to that magic 108, you might find something tonight that gets you there, which means you can buy that big, big item for 30 quid. Can't believe it. I mean, this is the thing. This company just keeps on giving to everybody, not only the stylists, but the customers as well. It's wonderful. Hi, Kat. Love you to see you too. So, um... Moving on, one of the things that you've probably been talked to about uh, by your stylists are the, the difference in skin tone when you're picking the type of metal you wear for jewellery. Now, I have a very um, warm skin tone, sort of olive skin tone, which is just me. And I'm, if you were doing colour analysis, I would be termed a spring um, or autumn is the other warm type of skin tone and for that reason you you would wear sort of gold metal but that doesn't mean I can't wear silver it just means that gold is the better metal for my skin tone likewise if you have sort of blue tones to your skin a very pale skin and you've been analyzed as a winter or a summer um, you would have very cool tones which means the silver or the rhodium plated items are perfect for you because you will get that there's much more um Oh dear, I can't even, there's a, the, the, the skin tone is far better for that type of jewellery. But again, it doesn't mean you can't wear gold jewellery. There is no hard and fast rule. This is just tips. I'm going to start off with, I think, earrings. And if I go off at a tangent, forgive me. I'm trying to get loads in and Wendy knows what I'm like. I just suddenly think of something and oh my goodness me. Um, so uh, the earrings are the most popular piece of jewellery as far as I'm concerned with my clients, in fact my customers over the last 11 years, um, people are always buying earrings. The great thing about earrings girls is they always fit, even if we put on weight during lockdown your earrings will still fit you. You know necklaces might struggle and rings 
maybe bracelets but your earrings will always fit so it is a very popular piece and it's a nice piece to give people as well people like having lots of different earrings to wear because an earring can just make all the difference so um when you're looking at earrings you're looking at absolutely the shape of the face whether you have an oval face or a heart-shaped face or a square face or a long face it doesn't mean it's the wrong type of face it's just the type of face that you have and we just try and give you some idea of the sort of jewelry that will be better for that shaped face so I tell you what we'll start off with we will start off with an oval face which is something sort of similar to me here and fortunately for us girls that have an oval face we can wear almost anything in the jewelry range but we're better with things like studs as I have on tonight and you can see and I forgot to turn my camera around silly me but never mind never mind that these are the Chico studs <coughs> and something like the Rue earring that would be perfect and equally um, you could get away with wearing something like a drop this is the freshwater pearls and this is them in the gold absolutely beautiful and they also come in silver so that would be quite a, a nice drop from the ear for someone with that um, oval face equally you could get away with wearing something like this which is the oval pa um, palm beach I think that's a Palm Beach, yes it is Palm Beach. And this has loads and loads, it's very hard to show you, the Swarovski crystals. And they're a very good price point because they're only 36 pounds and they're absolutely brilliant. And the great thing is they are uh, what I call a sit-on hoop. Whereas the hoops normally go sort of to, to the side of your face, these actually sit to the front. So it's really a rather nice thing. So that's for the oval face. Coming on to someone who has a sort of triangular shaped face, so that would be sort of quite wide at the top going narrow, what you're wanting to do is to emphasise that length here. And again, the drop earring would be quite a good buy for you there. Um, but equally, something like this beautiful, fantabulous new Munro um, earring someone wants to come on wendy can you deal with wendy can you ask there's a lady wanting to come on and i can't sort it out sorry um this munro chandelier would be also be good for someone with a triangular face because that just brings down the, the drop to the face which makes it all look lovely and also the teardrop yes we got that now if you have a round face um, I've got a few clients um, who, you know, came to me and said, look, what can I do? I've got a round face. I can't wear earrings. They just look terrible. Well, the most important thing when you've got a round face is you don't want to make it look even rounder. You want to make it look longer. So things like a stud are useless because um, unless you've got a pair of diamond studs and you want to wear them, of course, but they will you know, accentuate the, the roundness. So you're looking for a drop or a dangle. And uh, something like these, where you've got three, three lots in a row, that's great. Sorry, they've all got, I had a little bit of an accident before we started, so things are a little muddled, but that's the sort of drop, a hoopy drop, or even the Gwyneth, which is a drop. That's a very subtle drop and quite an affordable drop. Um, uh, or, where's another dangle here? Or you could have a little bit of a dangle, which is, we've got a Moana here, which is lovely. See this here, the little Moana? That's rose gold, but it comes in silver and in gold. So you've got three metals there with something um, dangling. Heart-shaped face is very similar to the triangular face. Again, you're going to do the teardrop or the chandelier and uh, just, it'll just look, Back to this Munro chandelier which I think is wonderful look at that four inches of gorgeousness absolutely lovely um, and the final shape face no not the final there's two more the long narrow face obviously um, you could wear almost anything studs clusters I mean when I'm talking about a cluster something like the knotty here which is a sort of a, clut uh, a clustered stud um, or you could have short danglies and of course hoops now these are the wonderful new woodland hoops here are they not gorgeous I think they look fabulous 
that would be great for someone. Let's see, Wendy, Wendy, I think you look fabulous in these, absolutely gorgeous. And I also have another pair, but that's for something to show you in a minute. And then finally, the square face. Yeah, Moana, a go-to style. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just reading all this. Hi, Gemma, good to see you, excellent. Um, if you have a square face, really anything that softens the squareness round this anything round round hoops studs anything that um these wonderful wren uh we've got a selection here that would be great for a round face to wear so the next thing i want to come to and if you'll just forgive me i'm just checking that's no, okay i don't need to pick it up because we've already seen it what i'm going to do now is i'm going to talk about necklines and i'm sorry if i am rushing through this hi john lovely to see you one of these days we will meet um it's it's very hard because there's only a short time i don't want to uh, bore you to death but what I've done is I've picked up some things from the shop. I was gonna bring my own clothes here and show you, but I thought it best to show you clothes from the shop here and what I've teamed up, which is what I do for my clients. So the first thing I want to show you is a lovely, bear with, bear with, bear with. We will get through this, we will get through this. This is a beautiful cobalt blue top. Now, as you can see, I have teamed it up with the beautiful slate necklace, which is very affordable. I think that's 40 pounds, I think the price point on that, which is excellent. And it's three necklaces in one, although it has to be worn as one. And what you can see here is it's given that cool color, just a little pop, and it looks really good. And I just want to show you the difference when I put gold on it, although it's equally nice and just as gorgeous, but, and I have got the whole thing here tangled it was not tangled two minutes ago but it will untangle for me i'm quite sure this is why when you do a live you've got to have the gift of waffle because things always go wrong and you're allowed to put laughing faces because when i do my lives for the shop people always have a good giggle so here we are this is the gold is this the flutterby? I can't remember. Got the gorgeous butterflies with this piece of gorgeous mother of pearl. Now that, what I've done here, is rather than have the short silver, what I've done is I've elongated the line here. So if you're needing, if you're a bit short and you want to have a bit of length, if that was in a silver um, and you were cool, great. You wouldn't wear this probably if you were a warm. But anyway, that gives you the idea, the impression of how you can how you can um, sort that out. So two different types of jewellery there. Next one, put that down there. Here's one I prepared earlier, sir. <coughs> so I've got here three different items to show you. This is a V-neck. Now a V-neck should have a classic, let me get rid of this, a classic uh, V in the V shape. And that necklace, which is one of our new ones, and I've forgotten the name, please help me, somebody. Um, this lovely brushed metal um, necklace has a V, but it also has a drop. And because this is quite a deep V, that's okay. Well, I'll take that off and I'll put the beautiful, beautiful rosewood. I just love the rosewood. Is that not fabulous? This comes in silver and in gold, and it has the most gorgeous chain. Look at the the detail in there, the balls on the chain, the lovely hammered ingot, and that has quite a nice weight. That gives you an, a different look again, but still okay with the V-neck. And then going back to filling the V, as I say, have to fill the V, um, we've got here the Juliet. Now the Juliet's perfect because it's the perfect shape, she said getting it sorted out because it drops into a V and then you see the heart drops there. So that comes in silver or gold and that's a great way, a very affordable way because that's 28 pounds. That is a very popular little, little piece of jewelry. So um, fabulous to um, add to your wardrobe, your accessories wardrobe, because we have to have an accessories wardrobe. I think it's essential. I always refer to it as a wardrobe. Uh, you don't have just have a wardrobe for clothes. So the next item I want to show you here is one of our bling pieces. Now, if you're swithering as to whether to have a party 
or to fill your basket, here's a chance to see. This is a lovely, this is a Hobbs dress here with this sort of lovely turquoise and navy. And then you've got this lovely Bahamas statement piece, just lifting it right away, very plain without it. You know, take it off, doesn't look very much. Stick that on, wow. Now I've got that with the three, ext three inch extender um, still to go. So you could have it a bit longer if you wanted. And that is lovely, absolutely gorgeous. And you could, <coughs> pardon me, I'm so sorry. Um, if you are swithering about getting something or having a party and you want the Bahama, that's probably a chance to say, I need to go and do that now. Okay, next item I want to show you is the classic. Now this is a beautiful silk dress by Pure. Very, very simple. It's uh, grey and cream. And all I've done, it's got a V-neck. I've just teamed it up with the matinee pearls. Or is it the Duchess pearls? Sorry, Duchess pearls. And of course, you can team that up with the matinee earrings. Is that not clever? And you know what? They're only £18 each. So they could be your two cheapest items. And then you could fill your bucket with four at half price and then get your £30 big one. So there you are. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm supposed to be on choosing, choosing the right style, but I just get so excited about the opportunities you can get. So that's a very classic look that, you know, Park Lane do as well. Then we have another one here. This is a very simple black tunic dress. And here we have, to elongate it, we have the Logan. It's really lovely. It's got little crystals on it. Don't know if you can see, I'll just bring it closer for you. So difficult. I have got a big light here and I think sometimes it detracts from the crystals, but the crystals are lovely. You can see the crystals on the ball and on the bar. And that's a lovely lariat to wear with that. That just jazzes it up, you know, on its own. Not a lot to look at. Stick the lariat on. Wow, isn't that great? Then we have a pop of colour. What I wanted to show you was a pop of colour, how you could choose a style for you. Now, if you are wearing this lovely green, you may possibly be a warm um, a summer, uh, not a summer, a spring or an autumn. And can you see what I've done? I've picked out the green in this lovely Soleil necklace, which has the most fabulous chain. It's not an ordinary chain. It's open. Ch it's an open chain where the links are very big. Again, it has a three inch extender. But look at that. Does that not just just pop of colour? It just makes all the difference. So if you've got something that colour and you just want to enhance it, that's the way to do it. Very quick and easy. I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, taking too long, taking too long. Here we have a very sparkly jumper. Now, that's on its own, it's fine. But, you want to do something, want to wear some earrings? Wear these, you know, sparkly jumper with the Palm Beach, bit of bling, that gives you the little statement. You don't have to have anything around your neck because you've got lots of sparkle there. And there you are, you have the lovely earrings. That's another one to see. Here we have a very simple, 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 little black lacy evening type top. And it doesn't need an awful lot, it really doesn't. So to my mind, I thought the best thing to do was to put the roux on. And I put it on here in silver because if you were a cool um, person, you would probably wear you know, a silver chain and black is a very good color, all right? This, the Rue is the one that has the sparkles and the lovely earrings to go with it, if anyone's wanting to know. So there are earrings to match the Rue. Sorry, the lighting's going a bit funny. Now, here we have another neckline. This is an off-the-shoulder um, dress. Now, this could be like the sort of the Audrey Hepburn style. You sometimes get sweaters and T-shirts which have this, you know, off-the-shoulder look and it's always so difficult to fill this space what do you do with this expanse well you don't what you do is you go to your earrings and for this and for this particular color i picked out the fable earrings which are absolutely lovely and they are so delicate as you can see there's sort of the open work i can stop them dangling the lovely open work on them in the rose gold and that would just be enough. They would just simply, if you wore that to an occasion with your earrings, just fabulous, absolutely great. Then what have I here? Oh yes, this is nice. This is a, 
This is a, a dress with a sparkly top. It's a two-in-one thing. If you can see, the knit has a little sparkle. So a lot of us have got them. They were really on trend, well, not last year, 2019. So um, yeah, last year was a disaster, I know, but never mind. Everything's going to get better. So this is a little sparkly top that is joined onto this dress. And I thought, right, let's show you two ways of sorting this out. Now it has a pinky color. So I thought, oh, great. Let's put the rosy on. No, <laughs> not let's put the rosy on. Let's put the fable necklace on. And that is the, that matches the earrings that I've just shown you here. And it's lovely because it's nice and long. It draws the eye down, gives you that feeling of height and it's very light and it has earrings to match. Wonderful. When you get earrings to match your chain, fantastic. But equally, if you want it to be, have a bit of more of a statement, and again, I have this, sorry. Here we are. We have, and I've forgotten the name of it, this beautiful statement piece, which would be one of the items you could get for £30, you know, under £200. But look at that. I am a real pearl queen. I love pearls. So this to me is just fabulous. Look at these, you know, the pink and the cream, let's just turn that a bit. Just just looks fabulous, I love that. And what looks a very plain dress, you know, plain dress, go and try it on, stick that on, and you look a million quid, absolutely fabulous. And it's the same with this very, very plain barber shirt. I wanted a white one, I couldn't find a white one. Somebody has taken the white shirt from my cupboard. We will be speaking to daughter later. But um, here we are, and that was a joke, daughter, because I know you're watching, sorry. <laughs> This is a very plain blouse, but look what happens when you put the olive on. Now the olive has lots of colours in it, and it just so happens that they go terribly well with this. You've got all these colours, browns and turquoise, which are perfect and just really, really superb. That's lovely. And equally, if you didn't want to wear anything around your neck, Look at these bad boys. Are they not gorgeous? I think these are absolutely fabulous. Again, they are a, a hoop that is flat onto the ear, but this lovely lucite with the leather and the matte gold looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna show you a few more pearls in a minute because pearls are actually my very, very favorite, even though I'm not wearing them at the moment. Um, and I think I'll do a couple more. This was, this is a, a trouser suit which has a very plain top. I'm going to take the top off, just throw it on the floor because that's what you do when you can just throw things on the floor. The floor is clean, do not panic. Well, this I suddenly thought this is what needs to be worn with this. Now, this is the riches. Now, look how that just makes that look fabulous. That again is one of the statement pieces which you can afford with the deal that's on. And if you can't afford it, then you can have a party and you will get the, you know, the free jewelry, which could be the riches, which would be fantastic. I also put something with that which has disappeared. I can't, but yes, I can. If you wanted to be a bit more simple, you could put this lovely piece of rose quartz. This is the rosy, and it's on the most fabulous chain. It's not an open chain, it's almost like a solid chain, and I forget the name of it. Somebody will tell me, they always do. And that is just as lovely, and the colors go very well with the top. And I want to be here. Okay, so just do a little black number. This is a little black number. Everyone has a little black dress. We've already sort of done a little black tunic. But for this one, I chose the craze because the craze is just perfect. It has a little bit of bling and it's a little round disc that goes round and round and it has a lovely chain. The chain, the chain is a ball chain, which is really nice. And that doesn't matter what, you know, what you're wearing, well, it doesn't matter what you're wearing because it's got to match, but that is another way of sorting that neckline out, just giving you a bit of interest there. And, Finally, I just wanted to show you this amazing dress here. Now, if you have a dress like this on, what else do you need? Not a lot. Now, you just would probably think earrings. So this could be uh, one of those sequin dresses or anything. And I just thought, 
how wonderful are these fabulous earrings. Very, very plain, they come in silver or gold, and if you wore those, they're misshapen, which is great, gives it a bit of interest, catches the light. That would be a fabulous thing to wear with that. So I think I'm really almost at the end of what I wanted to talk to you about. I hope it's been helpful. I mean, I love talking to people about you know, what they like to wear and what they don't like to wear. Um, Jewellery is such a personal thing, but at the same time, it's always handy to get a few tips. And for those of you that are pearly queens like me, you've got gorgeous pieces. Um, now, where is it? I'm looking for it. Here it is. You've got gorgeous pieces. So if you're a pearly queen and you have warm tones, you've got the Brindley, which is lovely because it's got these little seed pearls. And that's enough to jazz up your, your outfit. Or you have the lovely pearl necklace, which is on a silver chain. So that would suit the, um, the cool ladies. And then, of course, you have the cashmere, which is a beautiful pearl thing. But the one thing I've not talked about are the rings and the bracelets. Bracelets, an arm party, you can create an arm party any way you like. I don't want to make you jealous. I've got two impression bracelets on here. Goodness me, oh, you'll just have to have a party and get one. And you can, you know, zoom it up. I could, you know, I've got the Northern Lights one here and one that was um, for attending Sparkle Convention. We got a, a rose gold one and I have a beautiful lifestyle in hematite and then I have my very favorite piece which is called Serena and I've got that in hematite as well now Serena is my younger sister's name so I have a great softness for this piece of jewelry as does she because she now has it as well so um, arm parties you can create as much or as little as you like here we have the Denali shove that on look I've got masses of stuff up my arm and I'm just feeling fabulous so girls, I really hope that has been some help to you. Um, it's been a pleasure being here with you this evening. Um, if you've any questions uh, about what I've told you, please speak to your stylist. Um, if you um, put a hashtag with your stylist name in the comments below, then we'll know who's been watching and uh, they can catch you if there's anything that you need to know. Um, uh, and my ladies, if there's any questions, please ask me. I will be stopping for a... Um, a juice just now it might be a slightly stronger juice than lemon juice but we'll see um, but I've really enjoyed talking to you and sharing with you tonight and I hope you enjoy the rest of the party and you did a great job last night that was fantastic and Belinda yes fantastic this afternoon as well so there's lots more to come you've got tomorrow I can't remember and there's Friday so um, just enjoy the party there's loads of prizes to win so um, you've got to be in it to win it so keep watching and uh, get in touch with your stylist. And if you were swithering about having a party, don't swither anymore. Go and get it booked. OK, lots of love. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.